Okay, so if we flip the row toggle we've been using, so if we flip the row toggle here, we can control the relative position and length of the sample, or basically which section of the sample is available for generating grains. If I have this longer sample, if I decrease the length, I'll loop sooner. But now if I change the position, I can still access the other parts. We can also control a loop starting point and length when we are in a looping mode. On the screen for the sample function is a play button. This will play the sample when pressed. But this also acts as a note hold when pressed while notes are already sustaining. Below that we see the name of the sample, and when pressed we can navigate through the available samples in the library. The sample navigation allows easy auditioning and moving up and down through an organized set of folders. There is a factory library of custom samples that includes a wide variety of acoustic and electronic instruments made by a small group of really talented musicians and sound designers. We think the samples are beautiful and that folks will really enjoy exploring them. I have not yet completed the UI for recording new samples or enabling live input processing, but both will be available by release. You can also see a user folder that can be modified from a host computer over the USB-C connection. Navigate to USB disk mode in the system menu to mount as a drive for your computer and you'll see the samples folder on your host computer. Drop some samples in, eject the disk, and you can then navigate to select the new samples. Three, one, two, three, four. Once you're satisfied, you can press down on the aux adjust encoder. One, two, or to a, three, or press elsewhere four, on the instrument to five, leave the sample navigation. Six. If you have tried some samples, but prefer to return to the prior sample being used, just hit the cancel button. Once a sample is selected, you have four on-screen controls. On the left is the playback mode. There is a looping on sustain mode, tempo synced looping mode, and single shot playback mode. We'll give some examples of these later in the video. Samples in the library can be either mono or stereo. You can use the sample's native channel format, called source, or sum a stereo sample to mono before spatialization of the grains. This allows either preserving the sample's natural stereo field, or maximizing the immersive binaural rendering effect. We can then also set a pitch and tempo for the sample, if available. Our library of factory samples will include this information as known metadata, and we plan to support pitch and beat estimation for uploaded or recorded samples, though this may come as an upgrade after release. When the pitch estimation finds a single dominant pitch, the sample's fundamental frequency is automatically set. As a result, samples will automatically be tuned to align with other instruments when possible. You can see that these samples are not natively C4, but each one is being pitched to that note as I play a middle C. When no pitch or multiple pitches are detected, the sample pitch will default to C4 so that playing middle C does not alter the sample's natural pitch content. The pitch can be set manually, and by turning all the way to the lowest in the range, we can specify none. When pitch is set to none, the grain's pitch will no longer be automatically changed by the MIDI key number. This is particularly useful for non-pitched sounds. The default will be C4, turn this all the way to none, and now when I hit a note, 
It will always play at the sample's natural tuning. You'll notice, by the way, that the direction of electron you'll flow notice, is by contrary the way, to the direction the of electron flow. flow is contrary to the other way. way. Direction you'll notice, by the way, is direction. When the sample BPM is set, the tempo synced looping mode will modify playback so that playhead speed equal to 1 will match a global tempo that can be manually controlled or synced to an external clock. I'm going to hit play in Ableton Live on my host computer and then control the tempo. I just moved from 94 beats per minute up to 127. Now let's go back down. We're at 107. Eighty-four and seventy. 